welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. A while back we had a request to go over Project Tangent. So let me uh, show you where that is first. It's in the modeling menu set under Curves. Project Tangent right here. We can go into the options and edit reset settings. Make sure we have our default settings. So Project Tangent, what does that do? What it kind of does is it will, if you have a NURBS surface, and also a NURBS curve, and you kind of align them together, the project tangent will allow the curve, it will change the curve's shape to blend more seamlessly with the same tangent as the surface you're aligning it with. And we have options here that will help us do that. So first let's go ahead and minimize our options and let's set up a little bit of a situation where project tangent is useful. So first I'll go to create NURBS primitives and I'll just create a simple cylinder and I'll go over here in the inputs and I'm going to decrease the or increase I should say the start sweep a little bit and change the end sweep so I just want to have kind of a semi uh, or a half cylinder shape and I'll rotate that about 90 degrees or so this way and I'll adjust this a little bit so something something like this and then I'll go to our side view here and I'll go to create curve tools and I'll use any of these curve tools but I'll use the CV curve tool press the 4 key to enter wireframe view so I can see my uh, cylinder from the side like it is and I'll just create this shape like this hit enter and now I want to I want to attach this curve to the surface in some way. So I'll do that by right clicking on the curve, choosing a control vertex. I'll choose the one on the end here. Hold down the C key to, to toggle snap to curve on. So with C held, I'll middle mouse click and drag on the edge of the surface. So I can click and drag with my middle mouse button. It curve snaps the CV to the surface and then I'll let go. So now that because that CV is right there on the surface, project tangent will work. So I'll press 5 go back in the shaded view. And so you'll see here I have my surface and my curve. So right now my curve is kind of already aligned with the surface just because I happen to draw it that way. So I'm just going to adjust this so it's definitely not anywhere near aligned with the curvature of the surface that we're working with. So it's definitely at a very harsh angle here when it comes to the curve touching the surface. So I'll select the surface first, hold down shift and select the curve. Then I'll go to curves, project tangent. And let's go into the options. Move them over here and say edit reset and then apply. So you'll see immediately, let me undo and redo by hitting Z and Shift Z. By undoing it, this is the original shape of the curve and the surface. And then redoing, holding Shift, by pressing Shift Z, this is the result of the project tangent. So it changed the curve shape so that it flows more smoothly into the flow of the surface that we've aligned it to. So this curve shape, when it started, was like this, where it had this harsh line with a curve attached to the surface at a very harsh angle, and we wanted the purpose of Project Tangent is to adjust the curve shape so that it has a more smooth uh, flow into the surface's shape. So by hitting Apply, we have adjust that curve now so that it will flow, the tangent of the curve, or the curvature of the curve, flows into the tangent or curvature of the surface. And that's essentially what Project Tangent does. And we have lots of options here to uh, work with to change how this all works together. First we have construction and the two options we have are tangent and curvature. So with tangent selected, the tangent is the default uh, of the two. We have our tangent align direction and then we have a checkbox here for reversing the direction if we wanted to. The tangent scale and tangent rotation then also keep original. With keep original checked, instead of changing our curve to have the tangents smooth together with the surface, it actually will keep the original, 
copy it and change the new one. So we'll still have the old curve, but then it will create a new curve for us that has the project tangent applied to it. If we decide to use a different construction method, such as curvature, you see we have curvature scale added to our list of options. So with by using tangent, we, know we do not have curvature scale. With using curvature, we do have that additional option. So let's keep it with tangent as it is now and close this. So we have a tangent uh, project tangent applied as opposed to a curvature project tangent option. So over here in the channel box, you'll see I have the project tangent uh, options or output here that has been added to the curve after applying. And we have our tangent scale and our rotate as well as our tangent direction. And then we have our on and off for reverse tangent. We also have an ignore edges option here. Curvature scale, you'll see a zero, but because we are not using a curvature construction method, curvature scale actually will have no effect on the curve as it is right now. So just keep that in mind. If you adjust this number, nothing will actually happen because again, we didn't choose the curvature option. So with the project tangent output here selected, go to modify transformation tools show manipulator tool and actually gives us this handy manipulator for the project tangent command that we did. We have these two handles that are applied. If we click and drag on this one you see that it adjusts the tangent scale and you see how that works. It kind of changes the curvature so if you wanted it to be not quite so large a change here, if you want it to be a bit more compact and a bit more sharp but it still blends into the surface here at the end. I'll zoom in. You can change how large that transition happens here. If you go all the way down, of course, it becomes uh, the way it was originally at zero, or if you go negative values, it will do the opposite direction. So those are your options here, and you can adjust that with this handy handle or by changing the tangent scale in the channel box here. Next we have uh, this blue handle. If we click and drag on it, it will actually change the rotation. It goes from zero, you can go all the way around this gray circle to 360 on the other side. And you see what's happening with our curve when we adjust that. I'll do it over here. I'll select the rotate channel, then I must click and drag to adjust it. You see that it kind of swings that swooping loop over and around however you wish it to be in relation to the uh, direction of the surface, like so. Tangent direction is U and V, and if you've seen any of my other NURBS uh, function videos, you'll know that U and V are based on the direction of the surface. By default, it's using a U tangent direction, which in this case would be the curvy direction of this cylinder, the shape, this line here is the U direction. The V direction would be the straight uh, side of the curve or the cylinder I should say. If I choose the V tangent you'll see that my line changes to try to adjust to this curvature as opposed to this curvature. So depending on which direction on the cylinder you're trying to uh, project to you can change the tangent direction here. You have a reverse tangent. You can turn this on or off. By default, it's off. If I, hit, if I type in the number 1 and enter, it will reverse the direction of the tangent, which gives us this effect, which is also kind of saying like a negative value for the tangent scale. does the same kind of thing. I'll put it back to a positive uh, value instead of reversing it. Then you ignore edges. By default, it's turned on. If you want to turn it off, you can. Hit 0 and hit and enter. In this particular case, it doesn't really have much of an effect. Hit enter again. So this is with a tangent construction method. Let's go and undo all this and select our surface again. Hold shift and select a curve. Go to curves, project tangent, options. So again, we had our tangent construction selection previously. Our tangent align direction was U and V. There's also the normal, which would be the surface direction. A reverse direction is a checkbox here. We've already kind of talked about that. Then you have our tangent scale and rotation, which were our two blue handles with the show manipulator tool. 
and then keep original. So let's do the curvature now for construction and we have that added curvature scale uh, slider and we'll keep everything else at the default values and hit project. So you see we get a much more drastic change to our curve as it tries to use that curvature setting, the curvature of the surface. You see here I'm using this kind of semi-circular cylinder shape so it's trying to match that shape with the curvature of the curve. So we can adjust our curvature scale now. You see with my show manipulator tool still active, I still have the tangent scale here, which we can adjust like so, as well as the rotation, which works the same way. But again, it's using that curvature uh, method. So it's kind of changing the shape as it goes around because it's kind of trying to match the curvature and not necessarily the tangent, which can be handy based on uh, certain situations. Here's the scale, we can adjust that as well. And then the curvature scale is kind of the same as the tangent scale. Adjusting the tangent scale does this, adjusting the curvature scale, if we increase this to say 2, hit enter, you see we have a second handle here, or a third handle I should say. If we click and drag on it, this is our curvature scale. So we have our tangent scale as well as our curvature scale. Two different handles. They kind of do very similar things. You can see how they're oriented to the uh, mesh with our show manipulator tools. The tangent scale is a much more drastic effect while the curvature scale is kind of more subtle. By pulling out on this handle you'll see that by default it doesn't go out too far I can type in here, say number four, hit enter, and get much more drastic results. The handle is way over here. If I click it though, it kind of pops back to a smaller degree. So if you want larger uh, values than what it's showing here with the, by pulling on the show manipulator handle, you will need to type them in in the channel box here. So that's essentially Project Tangent. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned a little bit about how Project Tangent works. Uh, thanks again for the uh, request. If you have any requests for future tools, please let me know. Uh, thanks again for watching and subscribing, and I'll talk to you later.